Hello everyone in Panel Lemon Tart, and in this video, we will be continuing our Lavender Lane Town build. I had another build in mind for this video, but since Bloxburg recently had a makeup and face care and hair care update, I thought I shouldn't miss the chance to build a beauty parlor in our new town. Let's start! <laughs> Out of all the builds I have done for my town building series, this one is the one I restarted the most. About 5 times. I got so tired of restarting, I even stopped recording. But yes, this is the final version. I envisioned Lavender Lane to be more of a city, unlike Maple Town, which is in the suburbs. So I knew this build had to be tall. To kind of plan ahead, I tried to outline the future builds next to it. This is something I will probably start doing for this plot. I'll be honest, I'm struggling with this a little bit more than Maple Town because even I don't know what aesthetic to go for, and honestly, I'm just here to see how it's all gonna end up, just like you. This build has a lot of floors, but just like any other city build, the first floor is occupied by our business, the beauty parlor. The upper floors are going to make up an apartment complex, and these apartments are going to have a balcony each. With basic shapes, I made a little rounded roof for the front of the beauty parlor. These styles are always so popular. I did it for my boba cafe build and my apartment hotel build, I believe. My theme for our beauty parlor is going to be pink, so I colored the roof accordingly. I was experimenting to see which palette is worthy of our apartment complex. I was this close to choosing green, but I reminded myself, Panda, this isn't Maple Street anymore. Let's tone it down a little bit. I chose a white color with tiles as textures, which made it seem a little gray. Though grays aren't used very often in builds since the default color in Bloxburg is gray, I used it for this build to really give it that concrete jungle city look. The air conditioner and pipes I added also give our build a little bit of shape and detail. I also alternated hurricane gray bricked walls with linen bricked walls so it's a little bit more subtly detailed. I used commercial doors and windows for our business front so those who are walking by can see the services inside and see if they would like to have that done as well. Of course, we do need stairs to access the apartments above. I shouldn't have left it to the last minute but honestly, I forgot. So now we have to create a stairwell. But it looked really awkward. We have to fix it. First, I added a railing and used the quarter fence and it's starting to look a little bit better. Then I started boxing it off and I kind of liked how this is turning out. I started working on the layout of the apartments and I was even able to fit in two bedrooms and a bathroom for most of them. And not to mention, they still have quite a lot of space for a kitchen and a living room. Before we continue this video, our sponsor for today is Puppy Play. They came out with a new game called Peppy Hospital 2. In this game, we can roleplay as doctors and our job is to help the patients. Speaking of which, this grandma just arrived in an emergency helicopter. We have to help her. Let's try hand sanitizer to get rid of the virus. Oh no, she keeps sneezing them out. Let's put a mask on her. That's better. Time to give her medicine. Oh, she's all better. We can do so much in this hospital roleplay game like vaccinating patients so they have immunity against the virus. Not only is it fun to play, it's also very educational. This game has so much to explore and offer. We have access to a science lab, state-of-the-art healthcare technology, and many more. You can now download this game for free using the link in the description below or pinned comment. You can also download using this QR code right here. Now let's get back into the video. With our stairwell, I was thinking it needed some sort of roof. Because if it was raining, people can't just get wet walking down the stairs. I tried to make this basic shape roof follow the stairs so the tenants are covered for the most part. It did take a little bit of adjusting to get it where I wanted it to be, but I was finally satisfied and move on to adding windows to the apartments. I had to sacrifice the apartment or apartment windows right above the beauty salon because I wanted a big sign for the business logo on the roof and that's not possible or rather impractical if I added big windows there when a massive sign is blocking it anyways. I still gave it these smaller windows and I'm really hoping I can salvage it, otherwise it's a waste of space. Now, after adjusting the roof a little bit, it's finally time to build the inside of our beauty parlor. I have certain items in mind when I wanted to create a beauty parlor. 
First, the foot spa machines. Next, the hair washing station, a hair cutting station, and a nails area where customers can have manicures done. Right now, I'm just planning out where everything should be. Once all the chairs have been placed, I went on ahead trying to make the hair washing station realistic. At first, I tried recliners, but the head didn't quite reach the sink. Next, a rocking chair. Funnily enough, I didn't know it actually rocked. Well, at least it lives up to its name. Then, I tried other recliners, and nothing quite fit. I even tried arranging it on a slanted roof in hopes that when you recline, your head ends up in the sink. That was also unsuccessful. I eventually got tired of inventing the hair washing station, so I made partitions for the hair cutting station. Mind you, this isn't just a hair cutting station. It deals with anything to do with hair, whether you are styling or coloring it. And it is also the place where you would get your makeup done professionally. Then I decided it was time to town hop. Back to Maple Town. This little business trip of ours is to inspect the previous foot spa chairs I invented previously. I'll take notes from it, but won't copy it fully. After that short trip down memory lane, time to teleport back to another lane. Lavender Lane. When I made my first foot spa, I didn't record it because it took forever to invent and I was more worried about my desk space. But some of you wanted to see how I made it, and this is kind of it. Basic shapes galore. Though, I'm thinking of making tutorials of these little inventions of mine and putting them up as shorts. Or would you guys prefer them to be in one compilation video? Or would you like both? Let me know down below. Oh, and this is my favorite part when making this. The fake water. I know it's dark, but you can see my character's feet soak in the water. So cute! Now I put my headache aside and deal with our hair washing station. This time, I'm not going to reach for the stars. Let's be honest, I was aiming too highly with that recliner chair earlier. So I thought a normal armchair will do. I positioned the sink behind it and tried to make it a part of the machine by covering it with a cube. And that's it for our hair washing station. For the interior walls, I decided on these light pink tiles. I also wanted pale red and gold accents throughout the build, not to mention this coral pink. I worked on a lower ceiling for the reception area. That seems to be my latest obsession after obtaining the transform tool. Though our build is a little gray outside, I just couldn't do that to the inside too, so I added more light gold. By using structures, I was able to make the mirrors have a little alcove, which I think is so stylish. One thing I like doing for my builds is making my own shelves. This shelf is going to be holding our beauty parlors products which customers can buy to take home. And here I'm just restocking everything. This update is definitely one of my favorites, though I wish they could also add other items like a loofah or more shoe types, shoe racks, etc. Let's also not forget to add a TV for our customers so that way they can watch something while getting beauty treatments. Like I said before, this is not only a beauty parlor but also also a beauty store, so I added a table for the products to sit on and also mirrors so that way people can try the products before buying them. I created the iconic nail walls that nail places usually have where they display their colors available. This part reminded me to get my nails done because I love getting them done, though I don't do it often. I feel pretty when I get my nails done. I usually get the ones that require a blue light for curing, so that's what I'm doing here. It's kind of an under the table UV light to cure gel polish, acrylics, and yeah. In front of the main chairs, we have these wardrobes and I really took delight in adding a lot of clutter on them to really signify that this is a busy beauty parlor. And I quickly remembered that sometimes when you get your nails done, they make you wash your hands. I'm assuming it's to remove the excess products, so I added a sink for that purpose. Beauty parlors are known for long wait times and I wanted to put a seating area so I thought of making a wall partition to put the seats against. It is also a nice design choice I reckon. We are now up to the reception area where we have products on the shelf just in case the customers wanted to grab one before they pay. I also assumed that there would still be a lot of paperwork to be done even in a beauty parlor business so I made a little office for the employees. And lastly, we have this little area where employees can chill, eat lunch here. Though it's probably not advisable because this is also the place where we mix chemicals for the beauty treatments. And it also low-key acts as a stock room. I quickly added these finishing touches like these lavender plants. And if you haven't noticed already, I'm spamming these all over town because it's called Lavender Lane, isn't it? 
I also don't know how to feel about these wires right in front of our building, but I guess it's aesthetic in a way. Anyways, part one of this build is now complete. Next time, I will be doing the apartments. Let's now head on to the tour. Welcome to Essence Beauty Parlor. If you ever need a makeover, feel free to visit us. Our town is coming along great, guys. This is our full building right here. I did say before that I will be making that apartment in the next part of this video, which will be uploaded after this one. Um, this is the front, and I did have to delete the side buildings from a while ago. And yep, going inside, this is our beauty parlor. We have a lot of products here and services that we hope people would enjoy. If I do sound a little bit different, that's because I just woke up. I did film this on a different day. Now let's try on some makeup. This is our little testing table. And I'm just glad that this makeup works. <laughs> like it actually works. Let's see what it looks like on my face. I believe that's the pink sparkles. You can barely see it, but I think it's there. Walking over to reception, we have a spare chair over there and it's the place where people either buy the makeup or pay for the services that they just got done. And behind it is just a little mini office where employees can do some paperwork, I guess. Um, I don't really know what paperwork they do. I'm guessing taxes. Um, yeah, uh, this is the view from the reception desk. These are all of our services. So first, we have the hair washing station. I'm guessing this is when you dye your hair and you need to wash it off. I don't know. This is the foot massaging station, also the pedicure station, and this is the one that I copied from my previous spot in Maple Town. This is the hand washing station and the manicure station, and I can't believe that these also work, and I wish that they worked a little bit better, because why am I putting nail polish on my elbow? Um, but that's okay, at least it's, you know, working a little bit, and I actually hope that you can nail polish someone else, if that makes sense, um, but can you do that? I don't think you can do that, but I hope they make us do that because it would be really cool. Oh, and putting makeup on someone else, how cool would that be? We have seats for when we are waiting and we have these magazines to keep us company. Um, whether it be an entertainment magazine or a magazine, you can pull up and choose what colors you want done on your hair and stuff. This beauty parlor is actually growing by the second, so the owners are thinking of buying off the floor above it so they can expand, but we will see how that will go. Also, petition to have a hair curler next. <laughs> I feel like that would be really cool. I mean, we already have a hair strainer. You know what? Maybe we can get a Dyson as well. How cool would that be? That's it mainly for the main floor of our beauty parlor. I really like how it turned out, especially the colors that I chose. And this is just the back staff room. I accidentally <laughs> forgot to change the color of the dirt. Something must have like spilt there. That's what I was trying to go for. But yeah, I will change that afterwards. It's also like a stock room or a lunch room for staff. They also have a notice board over there. And yeah, this is basically where they mix all of the chemicals that are needed for like hair treatments, you know? And this is the back exit. So this is showing you the overview of the apartment upstairs. Let me know down below what your ideas are for these three apartments. I did mention that the owners of the beauty parlor are actually thinking of expanding upwards into like the next apartment. I did create that story because I'm like, oh, well, I mean, it barely has any windows, that's the thing. And it barely has any light coming through when we have buildings right next to it. Um, so I was like, oh, maybe this could be some sort of like hair massage. I don't know. Do people have hair massages? <laughs> Head massages, scalp massages, okay? And going upstairs, these are our two official apartments. And I just love that roof thing that I made. It's actually such a vibe. It kind of reminds me of New York. I don't know if New York has these, but I assume that they would have it. I also love the view. I mean, look at that. I would so be claiming this particular apartment if I ever get to role play here, which I probably will. And I love how I managed to fit two bedrooms, okay? That doesn't happen often when it comes to apartments. I usually go for one bedroom and one bathroom apartments because usually I don't have that much space 
Going upstairs for our final apartment over here, it's also two bedroom and one bathroom. I also like how there's enough space for a whole living room and even a kitchen. And honestly, this one also has pretty good views. Um, yeah, and that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you liked it and watch out for part two.